Hey, Gracie, tell them what they're watching. Hello, welcome back to Dungeon Siege. I anticipate uh, uh, that this episode uh, will be coming out a lot uh, sooner after the previous one uh, than is usual, uh, because, you know, just things have just been going really well for me uh, creatively, and, uh, yeah. So we take this down to the, uh, to the Hall of Skulls. Chapter 6 begins, we go through the Hall of Skulls, which will lead us to the Cliffs of Fire. That might be... All one episode, it might be two, depends on if there's an autosave, which I don't imagine it, it, there will be. This is all desert themed, so I... Yeah, I anticipate just this is just the Cliffs of Fire episode with the Hall of Skulls being just a little portion of the beginning here. Um, and yeah, just getting this started. You know, I play, I play Dungeon Siege in just 15 minute in increments. Uh, which I normally do, which I do, I do because, uh, you know, I never know when something's going to go terribly wrong with the audio in my recordings, and so, you know, hopefully if there's any crackling or anything, it'll only be for 15 minutes at a time, but, uh, hmm. but, uh, yeah, also definitely helps to just, you know, squeeze a little bit of gaming in every day. I don't have to play a ton, just uh, a little bit now and then, and we end up with the big long videos. Here we go, finally got some Droog. Droog are... Heck, I don't know what they're supposed to be. They're ugly, uh, not a... not especially scary, really. I don't think you can take out a lot of Glorin's hit points at once, but, you know, who the fuck can't around here? Yeah, the Mana Potion. Yeah. Lots of Mana Potions, uh... You might as well, except, of course, uh... <laughs> everybody's inventory is, uh, packed full of potions! Um... We'll see how Droog swords uh, compare. Okay, head hammer. 97 to 145, was it? Yeah. Droog sword, well, I can already equip it, so. Hmm. Didn't sound as good, so. I mean, yeah, just normal equipment we find is never going to be quite as, as good as the, uh, you know, random stuff we find. You know, just the normal equipment used, but, you know, same with the, uh, you know, the Ice Warrior swords. Yeah. But how about Droog bows? Are they any good? You know, I, I might as well, I might as well check. He can't equip it, which is a good sign of it maybe being pretty good. Okay, Drew bows might be worth it. Let me try to pick one up. I mean, because it requires strength, 22. 100 to 104. 40 damage. Our current bow. Hmm. I mean, in comparison to. I mean, and these other ones have magical enhancements too, so. Yeah, no Droog equipment. If there's elite Droog equipment, maybe. At least get to the Hall of Skulls in the, the next ten minutes. If 
following the road, but I see a lot of space over here. I'm guessing that's the Hall of Skulls. That would seem to be it, yes. Merrick, how did you end up in the middle of all those droog, and how did it not get you killed? Spike Helm, eh? Those any good? Too, too good for Gjorn, so... Too good for Gjorn? Holy shit. Strength 38, this one. Core strength 41. Eh. Never gonna happen. Well, I hope we get a chance to expand uh, some of these potions soon, so it's not quite so uh, difficult to, <laughs> to, to uh, check the viability of new equipment. Hall of Skulls. If I'm not mistaken, the Hall of Skulls, it only has floating skull enemies. And it's got a lot of side passages, but we're gonna stick, you know, I'm gonna head straight to the middle. I want Seekra. Okay, not just skull enemies, alright. Get one, Drug. Khan has increased in strength. Do I get anything? I get boots, and gloves. Pretty good sweet, dude. I have him carrying around this helmet that requires strength 24, that's never gonna happen, jeez. Skull guys off to the sides. I'm gonna ignore him for now. We're gonna get Sikra. She's she's at the end here. I have never recruited Sikra before. I'm very excited. I've said that, of course, but uh, you know nobody watches these videos. Hey, Skull guys. Uh. So yeah, going off in two different directions. Nice, uh, nice tactic. They have too. They have too much hit points for. Uh, shit, too much hit points for grenade launchers. But uh, okay, these these skulls are uh, super super stupid tough, actually. Pestilence, you say? That sounds like a. Combat spell that might uh, do something? I don't know. Hmm. Summon zombie? That definitely does something as well. I don't know. Zombie? As I recall, it always summons a headless zombie, which is just inherently not as cool as a regular zombie. But... Summon Hellbore. Lots of. Lots of combat magic being dropped, I guess it's because they know Seekra's around. <laughs> okay, these skulls. These skulls, they're trickier. They're trickier than I thought they were. They're... Oh, they're absurd. They're obscenely tough, and they float away so they can take advantage of their ranged attacks. That's... They can get us while they're along the outer wall here. Hmm. Okay, that could be re 
regroup, we can get this one. Damn it. <laughs> All that for a pretty weak sauce amount of gold, fellas. Black Wolf, kill it. Alright, what do I got? Okay. I hear a lot of running water all of a sudden. Okay. Um. Nature Magic 40, huh? That's never gonna happen. Okay. Summoning spells. Anyway, uh, yeah, we. All right, well. Clearly we can't just, uh, beat up Skull Guys well enough to just grab Seekra. We gotta clear this room of them. Hmm. Let's just try to stick as close to the center as we can. They're in the big group. Let's grenade them. Skulls do do the flames that the skull guys spit. Do they do area of effect damage or I mean I I doubt it. Grenade launcher is at least best to hold our position, yeah? That wasn't holding our position, Giorn. The hell, dude. Skull guys, they do not carry much money for being so tough to take down. You know, in comparison to the to the group we've been. Why do skull guys carry any money at all? I don't know. This is not, uh, you know. I've played games where uh, only 
where the only monsters that carry money are those you would expect to, but uh, this is not one of those games. Very few games are one of those games, actually. It's just like a uh, real Dungeons and Dragons based games where, you know, okay, really. Where the enemies carry carry random treasure, just like in the game, and then then it makes sense. Then animals don't don't carry money. Yeah, you would not expect them to. Uh, yeah. All right. Statue, secret entrance, and uh, is she sitting down like you, Laura was? And a uh, hello, Secra. It's been a long time since we've had a new companion. Welcome aboard, miss. Ah, I've foreseen your arrival. The Droog have been instructed to hold me here, but I don't think they even know why. They seem to fear me for reasons I cannot fathom. But then again, I am Sikra, the daughter of Nong. I am Traveler. Yeah, you are! On behalf of my father Nong, the Brotherhood of Travelers for which we toil, and the great road upon which we journey, I offer humble thanks for my rescue. I have no else to offer except my skills, but I shall pledge them to the completion of your quest, if you so desire. May I join you? Yeah! To the completion of your quest, to the ends of the world, I now vow my loyalty to you, servant of Ebb. Let us begin our sacred work. Yes, please. Just gonna get that out of the way quick. What have you got going on? Sikra, okay, you're... You're a magus. Nature and combat magic, but we, we want combat for sure. Yours, I hope? No spells, huh? Alright. Starlight Vesture for Sikra. Wait, really? She has more armor rating with the... Ah, yes, because it's the same armor rating, but uh, also adds one to dexterity, which is where armor rating comes from. Hmm. I mean, plus two intelligence and, and the regeneration. Okay, yeah, we gotta keep secret in the starlight vesture, yeah. Combat magic level 38? Holy cow. Ring, fire, rain. Hmm. She needs some just uh, regular uh, combat spells right now. Is what she needs. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing of the sort, it would seem. Hmm. Yeah, I thought I did a lot more preparing than this. Uh, yeah, we better get... We better get Seeker back to Fortress Croth. And get her properly equipped. Okay, yeah, you didn't need to watch that, so uh, here's... Here's what we've got for Sikra having uh, shopped in Fortress Croth a little. Uh, does that, the Starlight Vesture? Not that great. I don't know why I've had I've had Merrick wear it all the way through before, but no, I found uh, Sikra this uh, robe with uh, you know much better armor rating. Um, yeah, she. I gave her uh, the gloves I was having Merrick wait for because she actually does have enough of a strength score to to wear them. Um, 
Merrick, meanwhile, has no gloves. Uh, and I gave her a staff. Remember, a staff is only good if it has, you know, good, good uh, magic enhancing skills. And, uh, I, yeah, I did give her one, which, uh, you know, gives her a lot more mana. And I uh, gave her uh, all the... All the combat magic that seemed viable. I don't know if fireball is a good. Uh, I don't know if fireball is a good regular uh, offensive spell, but it was the only. It was the only one we really had. So, guess we'll test a few things out. And I did not give her a hat. I never do for characters who have a ponytail because they they look much better with the ponytail. So yeah, as for. You know, she's got the healing and the resurrection. That uh, you know, it's a, they're a bit higher of level with combat magic. But yeah, we got two healer types now, uh, two you know, full, two full fledged magicians, and Seekers, a bit more full fledged than Merrick, I'd say. Yeah, have her uh, move up, yeah, have her uh, <laughs> move up a bit. Be his, you know, outrank him now. Um, Yeah, I guess, I guess, we're gonna head back to the Hall of Skulls and see, uh, and just see how well her spells work, how effective she is. Um, yeah, like, I don't know if this fireball spell might drain her mana too fast, or any of these, uh, these seem like good, these other fire spells seem like good area of effect stuff, and, you know, I'm gonna try to experiment with them as we proceed. But, yeah, Merrick... Merrick has no gloves now. That's going to drive me crazy. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to go back to Bone Picker's post and see if there's some low-level stuff. Some lower-level stuff that these characters can uh, pick up. Yeah, we can give for our uh, archers and, and wizards. You know, just just head back to a lower level shop, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna walk back to Bone Picker's post, and uh, not gonna make you watch that either. Okay, did that thing. Um, we got uh, okay. They had you know just a regular, uh, you know, like the leather gloves you find at the very beginning of the game. So yeah, you know, we raised Merrick's armor rating by two. Mm, worth it. And, uh, well, Seeker still has more mana than he does, so yeah, I guess you can keep all these uh, amulets and rings and stuff that are raising it. Uh, we stuck Seeker up on potions, uh, and I, I had to admit, you know what, mage, robes, yeah, you know, no, no matter how good a mage robe is, low-level chain armor that a mage is strong enough to use is superior, so yeah. So yeah, I sold the Starlight Vesture earlier, swapped it for a regular robe, and yeah, sold the replacement robe. I got Seekra. Uh, so yeah, she, she just wears armor now. Um, yeah, okay, and now, and now, I will walk back to the Hall of Skulls and uh, give uh, everybody a test drive there. Still lots of, uh, still lots of sarcophagi and stuff I didn't open down there, and uh, plenty of... Uh, Plenty of rooms full of uh, flaming skulls that I, I doubtless missed. Um, but speaking of flaming skulls, yeah, there's a there's a spell where you hurl a, a flaming skull, and it's kind of it's kind of you know the the default uh, combat magic spell at, at you know higher levels once you're too good for fire shot. But uh, yeah, and I, I haven't been able to find it, but uh, maybe later. So uh, yeah, walking walking back to the Hall of Skulls now. Okay, did that. Okay, back at that, back at the Hall of Skulls. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, just did a whole ton of walking this session that thankfully you didn't have to see. And uh, I'll try to get us uh, facing toward the Hall of Skulls so I can remember that. Yes, that yeah. When I reload that, I intend to go back in there. Okay, Sikra. Never had you in my party before. Let's see what you can do, girl. Let's go. Alright, let's uh, head on in there and see what Sikra can do. Brand new dungeon siege experience for me. So I saw a video yesterday about dungeon siege, which surprised me. 
Um, I thought it looked at first like a Dungeon Siege themed uh, Minecraft mod. You know, it had it showed a uh, Lady Montbaron, the woman on the cover of the game, who is canon but not actually in the game. <clears throat> Yeah, so they're looking all blocky like Minecraft. It turned out to be some sort of Dungeon Siege themed NFTs, which was disappointing. Um, that. Ooh, boy, Drew. Okay. So, you know, that blows for, you know, whoever owns the copyright on Dungeon Siege, uh, Square Enix, apparently, that they. That, that they're getting into that shit. Um, and, uh. What surprised me is I saw. I saw people, uh, you know, not only lambasting NFTs in general, but also, okay, so yeah, fireball is its area of effect, just like all the, just like grenades and stuff, okay. not only lambasting NFTs in general and, and Square Enix's involvement with them, uh, but also... Good, good, good. Got anything good? Oh, you sure do. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I finish my story so I can really enjoy this. Okay. And so, so, uh, what the hell was I saying? Okay, so, yeah, Dungeon Siege. People not only mad uh, at Square Enix for getting involved in NFTs, but where is Glorn? Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> But bad that they were besmirching the good name of the original Dungeon Siege and its iconic theme music. You know the theme music. And yeah, they they were outraged to see to hear that music in an NFT project. And I was like, man, people actually care about Dungeon Siege. Uh, that, that just blows my mind. I mean, it kind of blows my mind that anybody ever cared about Dungeon Siege. It's not a very good game. It, I just, you know, I said, I said from the beginning that it's, a, you know, it's a guilty pleasure of mine and that it relaxes me. That's, uh, I guess there are still loyal fans out there, you know, probably people who bought the game on Steam like I did and can tell you, as they told me, to hack it a little, make it fully playable on a modern machine, because, you know, the Steam version just has a few kinks that need to be ironed out in order to have it play at its best. I sure hope this NFT thing doesn't cause any complications with the Steam copy I currently have, and... I mean, I guess, yeah, people do still care about Dungeon Siege. You know, the fandom wiki on the subject isn't, like, comprehensive or anything, but, uh... Oh, this is interesting. I don't think I've ever been down this corridor in the Hall of Skulls. Tell me. Oh, I mean, like... Fuck yeah. <laughs> Carry a seething helm, eh? Let's uh, set down this big ass, your big ass club for a second. Oh, still too, too cool for you, huh, Lord? All right. Take potions, get your. Get your big ass club back. You say something, Marmalade? <laughs> Did you hear my cat? He talking to me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at this Let's Play thing. I, I can't finish a story because I'm focused on the game. Anyway, the fandom wiki on, on Dungeon Siege, is, it's not super comprehensive, but it's pretty good. Um, and there are, of course, sequels to Dungeon Siege, and, and going by what I've read on the wiki, they uh, they do care about the story and lore of, of the world. Uh, the sequels do, and I mean, heck, I don't care about the story and lore of this world. Uh, coming from me, that's what I generally game for, is, is the stories. I play this game in spite of the writing that really fails across the board to impress me. Okay, there's a couple guys, but this looks like some, some, bet the sarcophagi got some bitchin' treasures. Gotta do is fight these two blokes. Works for me. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, jury's still out on if Secret's actually good at what she does. <laughs> Fireballs look okay. The multiplayer campaign does have, uh, you know, just a bit better lore than, uh, than this story does. I, I do kind of like, you know, the, the, the backstory and, and the exploration in that game. But, uh, anyway, my point is, yeah, uh, Dungeon Siege NFTs suck. <laughs> and, uh, from there, you know, it just, it does impress me that people... That other people besides me do care <clears throat> about this game that I'm playing right now. I mean, just these, these might be really good boots. I don't know. Let's try. And so, hey, if if you care about Dungeon Siege, if if you're watching this video and listening to what I'm saying right now, that's never gonna happen. Uh, the boots, I mean, are never gonna happen if you're. Yeah, if you're watching this, listen to what I'm saying now, please leave a comment right now, uh, telling me so. And before you decide that you just don't feel like it, or that you don't know what to say, consider the almost certain fact that you are the only person who ever has, or ever will, listen to what I'm saying right now. And how if you were me, you'd really want to know that one of the 20 people tops who ever clicked on this video actually watched it. Wouldn't you want that information? I mean, I sure do, so uh, leave me a comment. So those are my prepared statements. Wanted to just say my piece, my thoughts on what I saw yesterday. So, uh, yeah, moving on. I don't think these are any good. Okay. Yeah, man, let's... Most Let's Players have some pretty interesting things to say whilst they play, but I, I could not focus on that speech while I was playing. Ugh, that's, a, that's a skill I ought to hone, I should think. And okay, I know there are skulls on either side of this hallway. I just ignored them going in and out because I wanted Seekra, but uh, yeah. Gotta get Seekra all taken care of, so. Get ourselves some skull guys. Yeah, I'm very good that, like, uh... I'm very glad that, you know, ranged, you know, area of effect stuff like, like grenades and fireballs that, uh, they only hurt the bad guys. They don't hurt our team. You know, that's convenient. Because that's, it's just not... It doesn't make any damn sense, does it? But, uh, that's, that's the way it works. There's no, no friendly fire in Dungeon Siege. I, I appreciate that. No, I think there's a, I think there's a PvP mode in, uh, in the multiplayer. If you, if you do multiplayer, there's, there's a PvP mode. But uh, I mean, that sounds, uh, that sounds pretty unbalanced. This isn't exactly a balanced game for PvP. I shouldn't think. So Glorin go up in strength. Big ass club. No, but okay, you, you can now. Which, uh, yeah, is, is better, I guess. Uh, and, okay, yeah. It's, uh, not. <laughs> sure isn't as elaborate as this one. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a pretty, gosh. Oh, well. And a uh, big ass shield, too. Uh, oh, yeah, it's defense 46. Hey, and this one. Yeah, this one's got a few magical enhancements, but, you know, not super great ones. Eh, you looked better before, but you're, you got more power. <clears throat> okay, club. 37? Alright, next time, baby. Next time we get that Cyclops Club. I love that thing. <laughs> Gjorn, let's get a real good look at you with that bone helm. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, you've come so far from the simple uh, city guardsman or whatever you were when I picked you up in Stonebridge. I don't know what your job was. <laughs> 
Sure didn't seem like much of a fighter, but... Or, or like a soldier type. Even more side stuff? Ooh. gonna go over here. Yeah, and we're gonna and we're gonna fight these suckers from a distance. Wizards are gonna heal because this is getting hairy. Yeah, look at that. Seacrow's expending a lot of mana, that makes... that makes sense. Mana... that healing costs more when you're a combat wizard, instead of... because cause nature magic is what... is what's usually for healing. Um, Merrick, keep healing. Secret is down, secret is down. Chainmail might be uh, better than the one we got. Mm, not as such. Is it better than what Yalora's got? Uh, nope. Is it better than what Secret's got? A little bit, but she can't use it. She lacks the strength. Okay. Some other time, then. And gosh, I really haven't been having much financial trouble. Uh, you know, haven't had trouble affording things, and I guess that's because I haven't been paying for any mercenaries. Because uh, they, the mercenaries, party members cost a lot. I mean, you saw Bordia. What is he asking for? A million? Last uh, side, my last side gig over here. What after? Well, let's go after the ones that are not shooting at our warrior types. Say, so why? Do, why do I have these guys use grenades again? Because uh, mainly. Melee clearly gets the job done the fastest. You know, I guess, you know. If they if it really causes some vulnerability and they Thicket Helm, eh? Sounds like a wizard thing. Sure as hell is, that's lame. Okay. Combat magic skill. Alright, Secret. Secret, pick that up. Uh, oh. 
drop it, because secret still full of potions. Freaking sweet. Okay. Secret, you're doing good, you're doing good, and here we are back in the room where it happened. There's, uh, I mean, we got all the skulls here, but there's plenty of sarcophagi to look through for sure. So, yes, uh, current goal is to dig through all the, uh, sarcophagi I did not open, uh, because, uh, I was gonna go get Secret, okay. Lots of gold. Scale gauntlets. Nope, not of use to any of us. Hmm. Glorn can use a large kite shield, but Giorn can't? I see, it's just for some reason it got to. For some reason, this large kite shield has 10 more defense points than that's odd. This looks pretty sweet. Brilliant shadow scale. That looks pretty, really pretty sweet. Uh, hmm. Not in compared to anything we have. I mean, hmm. Well, uh, looks like it, like it's best for mana. Seventy-two foot seventy-nine. Six. Okay, so no, not better than what the, the mages have. Not better than what the archers have. Brilliant Punisher crossbow, eh? Punisher crossbow, I think. Um, and the shadow scale, I, I'm thinking we... I don't know, I don't even, I don't even think it's, it's worth keeping anything around for selling now. Yeah. That sounds like some pretty uh, kick-ass boots. The ring, I'm guessing it's this ring. Organic ring has one, two nature magic skill. That's, that'll that'd be for Merrick. Boop. Okay. Full plate greaves, eh? Defense, uh, 35. Plus 8. 40, 43. Giorn's current boots. Um, 27 plus 15, 37. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so these are worth one more point of armor than the boots Giorn is wearing now. <laughs> I'll Hang on to them. Maybe Lord Bolingar can use them. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, was there anything here where they were keeping Sikra? Uh, no. Okay. I just, uh... No, I am playing just the plain version of the game now. What... What the expansion Legends of Arana has 
is that it has a lot of armor that uh, you get that you get if you have a lot of dexterity or intelligence. So, so yeah, your your archers and wizards can actually be well armored, which they uh, they really can't here in the, in the main version of the game. They got to use really low level stuff, and then it becomes harder and harder to find upgrades for them. That's uh, yeah, it's just a good disadvantage of the original version of the game, but, um, yeah, as I said, it is, I've said I have seen it's possible to hack the Steam version of the game to, to play Legends of Arata, and I'd, uh, I'd be interested in that, it is a lot of fun. Full blade, that ain't no full blade, about this year, cope, lame. All right, on our way to the cliffs of fire. Going to encounter more druids, I suppose. Yep, here they are. What's up, dudes? That's a right horse show a bunch of druids right here. About a clockwork orange, should I don't they call their call their mates droogs, pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> See con increasing next turn. means he's better at his current. Ooh! Oh man, immediately. Immediately uh, usable this year crossbow. Um crossbows, but I don't know, it, it seems, it seems like it might work out. <laughs> is that a, is that like a way bigger crossbow than the one he had before? It seems that way. One pretty cool thing about Fireball is that the yeah, secret keeps you know, opening up all the pots and stuff before before we really have to. Amulet, eh? I could go for a Denver amulet right about now. Oh, yeah, that's om omelet. Driving amulet adds to range skill. This does nothing. I'm pretty yeah, pretty sure melee and range skill don't actually do anything. It's dexterity and strength you want there. It's just Melee and range skill are just titles. As magic skill, that actually affects your magicness. That looks an awful lot like an exit, don't it? Okay. Heading out into the Cliffs of Fire. And, uh, yeah, this is the Cliffs of Fire episode. Oh! Did you see them, Groove? They popped out of the sand like daisies. Okay, new enemies, giant wasps. Horn got his butt kicked there. Sikra, Sikra, no, no, bad, bad girl, Sikra. Sikra, regroup. You're not. Team. Team, fall back and regroup. There you go, secret. What the heck? Oh, 
Is that from the new crossbow? Uh, I don't want the new crossbow. I'm sick of crossbows. <laughs> Archers should use bows, damn it! Secret, quit going on the front lines, girl. It's not your bag, baby. Seems Merrick will be on heavy healing duty. What do we got going on over here? So they're crossing the river. Giant lizards. I'm guessing this is the way to go, and then over here is just a these little culvert enemies to fight. Yeah, it looks like the yeah, it's kind of the source of the river there. Yeah. Lizards are not quite as dangerous as Droog, uh, yeah, Lord. Lorne just cannot catch up to Gjorn. Dude, that's a lot of droog. A couple of them across the bridge too, huh? What's going on? You can't just you can't just cross the river. You can't just cooperate with my directions and like cross the river. Like not cross the river, but shoot across the river. Yeah. Large kite shield, eh? Thank you, Merrick. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not worth it. Okay. These things just aren't worth lugging around. Equipment's pretty good, and we want some upgrades that are really good, that are really worth it. chest open up the large chest I like to stick my head in the large chest and go <laughs> it's taking me a long time to make that joke I do I don't know <laughs> uh, I god 
I amuse me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we won't find nothing on this side of the river, so yeah, let's proceed down what uh, certainly appears to be the path. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, first thing you need to know as, uh, as I start going into the desert is that uh, spring spring is here, for sure. I have to have uh, a fan on in my apartment or I will die, and soon I'll have to have my uh, air conditioner on as well uh, for the same reason. So uh, I don't know if I don't know if that'll affect the, the audio. I'm sure it will. Uh, you'll have to, you'll just have to deal with that. A little out of time, wasps, lizards. Uh oh, imps. Let's take a look at some imps real close, like as soon as we, uh, Uh -oh. Like that. Let's go in here. Take a look at the imps. I I really like the imps. They're here in the sand, and then they're later on in the lava levels too. And they're just they're just these tiny little guys, but they're uh, they're they're quite powerful. Crossbow, huh? Leather gloves with a disadvantage, I want it. Spiked mace. Sounds under leveled. Yes, it certainly is. That fireball would go somewhere, I guess not, huh? <laughs> uh. Whoa, it's a lot of droog. Lots of options for places to go coming up, uh, but yeah, let's uh, focus on these guys, huh? Oh god! Uh, retreat! Any Druid wizards here, or are they all? Looks like they're all archers. Um, okay, like that. Look at look at them bringing bringing Glorn back with the. Uh, so that when you got two wizards, yay!
lot of Drew. You didn't see that? Fireball should you keep going. I wonder if it's possible for them to, to hit someone like that because you know their range isn't isn't really all that good. Um, okay. Let's see, got anything back here? Sneak in over here because I think I just saw at least some space. Oh yeah, that's space and there's uh, and there's more inch, yeah. Reconstitution, how does that do? What does reconstitution do? <clears throat> Infuses the entire party with 35 health per second. Okay, so it's a lot like uh, it's a lot like healing wind. Sure. Don't use healing wind a ton. Maybe I should. I should use it more often. <sighs> okay, and here's yeah, where we were before when we decided not uh, to go this way. You know how it is, I'm trying to trying to explore everything, you know, it feels like there's a lot more secrets earlier in the game, but maybe that's only because I I know about the secrets earlier in the game when I was young and I you know, actually went looking for them. Okay. Hmm. It's a bit like a secret? Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. There's this whole area here. I'm not sure what the... Not sure where we ought to be. Everybody, get him! Love the thunderclap that comes with Merrick's lightning spell. <laughs> Are they drug? Sure are tough. Oh, there's a lot of droog and a lot of imps. Shit. Uh oh, Secret, what happened to you? Oh no. They're beating Secret down. Who who is attacking Secret? Not anybody anymore. Yeah. She's up. Yeah. Assault axe, huh? There are a lot of debates as to what constitutes an assault axe that completely miss the point of the need for axe control. <laughs> Mana fountain! Or trying. Yeah. Don't need that. They're starting to. Starting, starting to need. Starting to need that. Okay, secret is, uh... 
So we have his fireball, that takes a lot of mana, and you know, we have Seed Rod healing, that takes a lot of mana as well. Yeah, Christ. Look at that Seekra, your mana is just it's going away. There you go. Uh, Seekra, you switch to you switch to back to fighting, and uh, Merrick, Merrick, keep up with the healing when we need it. I think we'll just, just uh, keep us keep us going, you know. Healings, what's going on? I got uh, okay. Sand imp mage types coming at us from all sides. Let's uh, okay. Let's have the whole party gather over here. Yeah, let's start with these two. Rank 22. Scale boots might be worth hanging on to for Khan, because he doesn't have uh, any magic boots. I saw... I saw Gluen go up in strength. Time for the big massive Cyclops Club. It's... It's... It's not... It ain't that big. Oh, come on. That ain't fair. Is it, uh... Is it like, uh... Is it massive when when Gjorn holds it? Not really, I guess. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Yeah, well, still, still works. Yeah, yeah. Big Cyclops Club for Glorn. Yeah, and uh, this thing, I don't know. I feel like nothing's really worth selling anymore at this point. But yeah, I'll, I'll hang on to it for that. Yeah, yeah, look at that, I got, uh... Yeah, I got boots and scale boots and scale gloves prepared on Eulora for such uh, an increase in... Osterank. Who else really prepared for anyone else? Uh, uh. Alright, where to go from here? Uh... Looks like this side of the river is where all the action is, so let's, uh... Let's just head over there and see what that's about. has increased in intelligence. I think it means more mana for him. Doesn't have any equipment on him. Oh man, I wanted Secret to, to aim at all that, but we can do it again. Yeah. 
Sweet. Lightning Blast. Is that better than well, Lightning? That's the name of the spell he's got right now. It's just Lightning, right? What's, what's Lightning Blast? Oh, I've seen that. That's even better. Level 36. You know, that's never going to happen, but uh, if it if it does, I want to be ready! Money, 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 money! Money! We'll play gauntlets, huh? Any good? Or is it 43? Hmm. Uh, on paper, this is less uh, armor than what... Uh, hmm. That in a Gloin spec up. Yeah, for Fury of Power Strength 43, and he's at 37. So it's take a while, but yeah, the growth of strength and, and growth of melee and strength is uh, a lot faster than the growth of, uh, of the other areas. Anything going on on that side of the river there? Doesn't seem to be. All right, let's proceed. So let's see. First thing, <clears throat> I attack freely. Target strongest. Yeah, I forgot to said Seeker's AI. I did, and then I gotta tuck that away again. So yeah, I kept this guy hanging out for a long while after I recruited Merrick. <laughs> I always forget something about this sidebar when I get a new party member, I guess. Go. Wonder if uh, I'll find anything else truly interesting here in the Cliffs of Fire, or if I've uh, kind of gone through it already. And there are a couple more enemy types, but like no, no interesting scenery or puzzles I can recall. Shattering pottery. And that's why these are called the cliffs. It's crazy. Well, I guess we're not quite there yet to the cliffs of fire. It's just more specifically where the droog are from, but you know, these are. Wizards first. First encounter with them suckers. Okay. <laughs> Just keeps on going, doesn't it? Them fireballs. I had a thought. Forgot what it was. About checking everybody's equipment, perhaps. I don't know, 
man. Mm. Suck it, imps. I gave Seeker the more the more mana, you know. Even though hers is already so much better than Merrick's, you know. It's good. She's so much better than Merrick anyway. And, you know, might as well keep it that way. Yeah, you know, I, I'm deeply disappointed in Merrick and how weak he's turned out for supposedly being the grand magician of this kingdom. He's been very much upstate by just some uh, traveler girl. Ulfgrim. Just another dwarf. A companion for us to recruit. Very, very mercenary. Ooh. This looks kind of secret area. No, no, it's it's down there. Okay, okay. Down here, but we're down. Down the cliffs of fire. A lot of imps. Okay, so, uh, holy shit, them imps are tough. The melee imps, though. <laughs> Boiled leather greaves? Oh, sounds low enough level that a non- Fighter might be able to use them. Hmm, nope, not of use to anybody here. One to intel as one to intelligence, which uh, yeah, none of our wizards will ever be strong enough to employ them. Or just cross back up that way, cliffs of fire. Beyond. New enemy, an impaler. Rather scorpion like, but uh, clearly. Clearly, there's more to it than that. Level 27 in nature magic. I to, anything new there? No. area we got uh, see I don't think we've met soul stingers yet they're rather like giant wasps only not that Meanwhile, secrets at level 40. I mean, what the heck, Merrick? It's 
Is it my fault that I just have Merrick on healing duty too much? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the creatures called soul stingers look a lot more like real giant wasps than the creatures called giant wasps do. The giant wasps have angry toothy faces that bugs don't don't got, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. The secret why is she getting her butt kicked? It's because of this guy. You know what I feel like we haven't used in ages? Swords. I feel like swords are a more traditionally heroic thing, but uh... Just haven't uh, encountered any really, really good ones. Nurture, huh? But Merrick uses nature magic, not nurture magic. <laughs> Super cheap joke, okay. Um, it's like, uh, Super regeneration? I'm not into it. I'll never be that high of level. Ugh. Is that what goes on here? Golly, the Drew is it the Drew Mage that does so much damage? Kind of, kind of insane. And we just keep like descending the cliffs of fire. Like, is there anything to do down there? I don't see any enemies way down there. This river below might just be for decoration. Like, uh. Like that one bridge the Krug burned down, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, is this the bridge I th I guess isn't the bridge I think it is, because the bridge I'm thinking of has like a Droog commander or, or mini boss or something just uh, waiting out there on the other side, standing out in the open. Hmm. Regardless. Hell, having a Merrick. Merrick's ass came over here is what happened to Merrick, jeez. Merrick, run back over here with the with the other wizards and archers where you belong and think about what you've done. You're you're a wizard, you're supposed to be good at thinking. Um, Kjorn? Dude, participate, please. Can the, uh, 
scoot along over here. And, oh, no, this is where we came from. Okay, so we <laughs> didn't need to cross the bridge in the first place. But you know why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Scenic route. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Another bridge. Okay, you know, I uh, I am enjoying the scenery more than I thought I would. We, we do good. Oh, cash! This region sure are doing a lot of damage. Let's get one more basher to take care of. Synchronized potion drinking. That's uh, in the Olympics. Always away. You got new enemies that deal so much damage, and they always take us down. And then uh, yeah, later, and later, by the time we're strong enough to take it down easily, then we go to another area, and it gets difficult again. Always the way. I just described every game ever, ideally, not just this one, but still. Just part of the old self-imposed challenge with this game, I suppose. There's the guy I was thinking about, the group captain. Mini boss. I like mini bosses too. They are kind of anticlimactic. Super anticlimactic. Actually, it should be real bosses that have a big, uh, you know, halo of light from the heavens on them. But uh, you know, say lovey. See, can we? Uh... Can we go over here? Yeah, we can! <laughs> it's uh, precarious. Look at that. <laughs> Neat. Uh, I just wanted to check that. Okay. Alright, boss, what you got? Some backup is what you got. Oh, it's a lot of backup. Okay, they're really ganging up on Glorn because he's a dummy who behind the boss to fight him. Okay. Alright, there we go. Good, good mini boss loot right there. Okay. Okay, yeah, whereas healing hands is, uh, yeah, yeah, battle healing takes up a lot of mana, so that's why, that's why she's a combat magician, not a healing magician, okay. We really have turned Merrick into the guy who just, okay, shut up, you sit back here and you heal. You have no real contributions to make here. You almost, okay. Gave you the chance to use lightning, but nope, didn't happen. I mean, that's the only mini-boss, the, the only Droog mini-boss out there. The Krug had a lot of mini bosses. Why did, why did the Drug only get one? <laughs> hmm. 
talking to these guys. I think are they called. Hmm. I can't highlight them like I could the Gremmels. Are they called? They're called Gorgs or Gix? No, Gix are the big birds. I think these are called Gorgs. I think, yeah. And they're like little armadillo guys or something. <laughs> and yeah, and they just hang around. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I think they're called Gorgs, but uh, yeah, you can't highlight them in the single player campaign. All right, everybody on the elevator. You squeeze a whole party of eight onto one of those. Elevator guys really kicking our ass. Right, secret, keep doing what you're doing, girl. That was a pretty effective ambush for the droog there. Getting us on top of the elevator like that. Can we uh can we proceed? Proceed along this cliffside? No. Sure looks like we can. That would that would sure be pretty cool if we could, but uh guess not. No, no secret area over there. That's a shame. I, I really wanted there to be. <laughs> what the heck was that? Ah, imps. Okay. Light ray, huh? Sounds a little bit cooler than lightning. Level 48, that's ah, never gonna happen. <laughs> Thick scale, huh? What kind of armor is that? Strength 20, defense 104. Nope, yeah, what we got's better. Merrick, how did you get up at the front again? Oh, 
the heck just happened? Who is kicking our asses? Is it... Is it all the soul stingers? Is it these three droog over here? Lord, where are you? We need the other fighter guy. There we go. Charg's Revive okay, has some kind of a uh, combat magic resurrection spell I think with something special about it. I don't remember the details. Nine requires me twenty. Oh, thirty. Could have got some good gloves for Yellowhead. She can use like momentarily, I guess. Great to these. And Merrick to these, okay. Everybody's got better gloves now. Very cool, and uh, yeah, once Yolora goes up one strength, she'll have even better gloves and boots. Con likewise. Staff sounds cool, but staffs are completely useless if they are not. Raises the corpse along with some health. Yeah, there's no need for that. We, we can resurrect. You can resurrect anybody anytime we want. All right. Doodly do. Like an exciting land bridge. Gonna be a Drake on the other side. No, no drink. Well.
I want to do... I want to do something fun. Merrick, whip out a fur rock. That's okay. I had fun. Yetis are fun. Merrick is dead. Okay. 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 Oops. Who was attacking Merrick? Oh! Oh! They came in at us from behind. Oh, those tricky motherfuckers. Okay. Okay. I saved before crossing the bridge. I, I knew something exciting was about to happen. Uh, be more prepared for the attack from behind if 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 I am forced to reload. Soul Stinger spotted us, okay. No, he didn't spot us? Okay. Okay, well, there's the hat. the equipment we find is, yeah, it's uh, not good enough for our fighters and too good for our archers. Maybe, so. God damn it, Merrick. It's those, it's those imps with the fire spell. He, Merrick just died again. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna get the sand mages. It's, it's, it's who we gotta take out first.
Well, Merrick, you've just been killed twice in the same battle, pretty much. How does that feel? Step aside, please. Need Merrick to pick up his stuff again. <laughs> yeah. There was a ring on the ground. It's Merrick's staff again. Right. Summon Wraith? Kind of like wraiths. P3. That is never going to happen. Ice Blast, huh? Is that like a bunch of ice shards? Sounds interesting. Let's try it. Just for a while. Okay. Let's see, where are we? Is it nighttime in the desert now? It looks a little dark all of a sudden. Hmm. Anyway, I suppose uh, we go this way, you know? <laughs> go in the direction of enemies is uh, rule of thumb in any game. Increasing intelligence. And, uh, not gonna do us any good for now, but... Right. <laughs> okay. All oh, this. Uh... Oh, this ice shard spray thingy I've got Merrick doing now looks pretty sweet. I see it. Okay. Who's throwing balls at us? <laughs> some some droog, some droog wizards. Yes. Gotta go all the way around here to, to, to get them, right? Uh oh. Sand imp modges. Um. Secra! Secra, why aren't you doing the thing? Hey, hey! Hey! Okay, now they're doing the thing. Okay. Hmm, some cave giant. Might do that just for giggles? Uh, not, not right now. We're kind of, uh, kind of in the middle of something right now. Cliffs of Fire, I guess these aren't quite the Cliffs of Fire yet. Something going on over here. I see, okay, I see imps. And I do believe I see a green drake, so yeah. No, Ice Blast, it takes out a... 
Yeah, Ice Blast is multi-target, but uh, no. Mill, secret, your first death. How's it feel? <laughs> Your secret was wearing any armor there. You know, I haven't seen her outfit. Cool. <laughs> Nowhere near as good as any of the regular old armor. Low level armor. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Right, this way to the Cliffs of Fire. Are these not the Cliffs of Fire yet? Because these looks pretty cliffy and, you know, hot like a desert and shit. So try to have at least you know two two game saves just in case the uh, video recording goes a little wrong, don't you know? Your first green drake. As I said before, I'm gonna try to say it more uh I'm gonna try to say it more coherently than I did before. It took me forever, but let's see if I can actually get through my thoughts this time. Um, the drakes in this game, the lesser dragons, correspond fairly well to the true dragons from Dungeons and Dragons. Because first, first you have the white ones, which are the weakest, and you find them in uh, you know cold, icy caves. That's true in both. Um, However, in D&D, the second weakest are black drakes who live in swamps, but or black dragons who live in swamps, but the, no, no black drakes in the swamp. Instead, the next uh, dragons you see are the blue ones who live in the forests, and then the green ones who live in the desert. In Dungeons and Dragons, it's the other way around. And then red drakes, well, uh... 
the red dragons live in the mountains uh, in D and D, and I suppose usually volcanoes uh, would would be yeah that would make sense. So yeah, we do meet red red drakes in in the volcano levels of this game, and, and they are the strongest. But is that there are black drakes there too, and that's that's not how it works in D and D. But yeah, otherwise uh, you know, the differences are only slight. They they were clearly inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. The uh, dragons. Hmm. I wonder if we can kill a Gorg deliberately. <laughs> yep, got one. How about another? <laughs> awesome. Uh... <laughs> I was, I'm sorry, that was sadistic. I like the Gorgs, but I didn't, didn't occur to me that was possible. And if there's uh, anything that can, where you can fight the Gremmels from, uh, from, you know, the early stages of the game, then it kill them too. I mean, I, I, I Zoom. <laughs> All right, who's the smart ass? Where's Secra? Yeah, secret, you've died twice in short succession, just like Merrick did uh, earlier in this level, I think. <laughs> Those imps with their, with that, uh, that's kind of sunbeam spell they got going on. Certainly tricky. Sounds like it kicks ass. What do, what do flame blades do? Do they just surround the caster? I bet they do. Oh, no, no. Hurls them. Hurls them at the target. Level 52. That's that's 10 levels away, but it sounds pretty cool. We might get there. I don't know. I mean, I mean, there's there's quite a bit of game to go. I'm sure. I'm sure. Hmm. Oh, the heck? Okay, here's the path. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we just got caught up over here, but yeah. Here's the path. And there's some soul stingers there to light our way. Isn't that nice of them? Yes, this is where we started. Yes. <laughs> Ice Blast is fun. It gets a, it gets a lot of guys, but yeah, really. We've got our multi-target thing. We've got, yeah, we've got Secret's Fireballs, which do 
way more damage than that, so yeah, I think Merrick's better off with his lightning when we have him attacking. Look at them bursting out of the sand like daisies. Did I do that joke already about the Droog? I, I'm sure I did. Sure is nice if whoever puts all these uh, signposts around the uh, around the assorted monster-infested areas. I mean, yeah, I mean, like. As I think I've said before, what assumes these areas aren't usually so monster infested, you know, that there's trouble brewing in the Kingdom of Ebb. Didn't, uh, pick up a spell zone? There we go, flame. Shield. Nine armor and burning attackers? No, 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 no. We're doing this on Pokemon rules. No defensive moves ever. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, wondered why they were three Zybos. Yes, they're pointing us on our way to Castle Evan. Oh, hey. Are we already at the Droog Village? Okay. Well, that didn't that didn't take as long as I thought. Oh, oh, oh I'm almost sad. This area is over. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll keep. Uh, Obviously, there's plenty of dudes to fight here on the outside. I don't remember this cave. That sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, so we definitely we've got some time before we just go out and enter the Druid Village, yeah. Sand imp mages. You guys are such pricks. Like there goes, there goes Merrick. He gonna die. Yep, there he goes. All right. These sand imps, they're so nasty. Can we, can we get them all? Well, you know, at least that time we got they got Merrick and not Secret. Variety is the spice of life, don't you know? See, the uh, combat magic resurrection takes a lot longer, which makes sense. Why do we have to do this every time? I mean, I know it's traditional, you know, when something dies, you gotta pick up all its loot, but... I mean, this is a game with an incredibly easy resurrection spell to acquire. Do we? Re do they really need to drop all their items? I guess, I guess, yeah, if we're gonna need one of their items before we resurrect them, we want that to be a thing. Yeah. <sighs> what do we have here? Hmm. So, yeah, I'm gonna check out this cave. I mean, I assume it's the cave that, uh, you know, is accessible from numerous corners of this map, and I assume there's not really anything in it. Oop, I was wrong. There's drakes in it. Okay, cool. <laughs> 
it's fucking dark. I mean, it was. What is this? I have never seen this. What is this big secret right on the edge of the Droog village? Oh man, I. If I've ever encountered this before, I don't remember it. This is cool. And it's dark in here. And speaking of it being dark, I thought, uh... I did notice there was that patch of desert where things seemed to be dark for, for a while, and then and then they got, you know, bright and desert-colored again. I wonder if that was meant to, like, imply the passage of a day, like the heroes have been, you know, that the, the, they trekked through the desert through the whole night. What is this? This, uh, architecture, is it, uh... Is this Castle Ebb architecture? Some praying statues here? Uh, it seems kind of star-shaped. Is this some foreshadowing of the Chamber of Stars, or...? Not the spectacular treasure I would have hoped for, but uh, I'm through with crossbows. But okay, long-backed bow. You know, long bows are slow. They are slowest and. These are not the treasures I would have hoped for, but, uh, still, it's pretty sweet to catch an area, I'm sure, I've never caught before. It's a maul, huh? Slow, two-handed weapon. Yeah, those aren't, those aren't worth it. Gotta have our speed and our shields, yeah, so, no two-handed weapons. Looks like this is the entirety of this secret, but glad I found it. I love that this game has stuff like that to offer. Mysteries, don't you know? There are a lot of those in the multiplayer campaign. Hell, I would love to share those with somebody. Let's see. I did find that sun temple thingy in the Alpine Caverns, right? I don't remember that level. Well, that ain't fair. Boiled leather gloves that require so much more strength. I think she can hang on to him. I mean, it takes mages forever to gain strength, but regardless. into the Droog village. Okay, it's uh, not entirely peaceful inside. As I recall, there are some fanatical Droog villagers who will still attack us. Gosh, I wonder if Seeker's Fireballs can take out uh, these bystanding Droog villagers. Yeah, they're called they are labeled as fanatics, but they have the same stats as, as all the Droog you've been fighting throughout the desert. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Wait a secret. Yeah, but uh, what you lagging behind for, girl? Can't wait to get where they going. Ah, move. Yep. <laughs> Where are the fanatics? I was sure there were fanatics around here somewhere. Ah, there's one. I see they keep their distance from the normal villagers so we don't hurt them. That's a uh, good, uh, Good, cause yeah, after I after yeah, after I fought the Gorgs, I wondered. Yeah, secret. How the hell did that happen? Okay, well. Gion has increased in strength, you say? I knew that guy was gonna whoop Merrick's ass, cause, uh, you know, that's who he was by. Increasing strength, still not quite at the level to use this new equipment. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, you just got popped out of nowhere there, didn't you? Wooly cap, huh? I'm not even gonna look. You don't deserve it. I'm not gonna give you the dignity. Fanatic villagers, yeah. Okay, I can see why the village is called the Cliffs of Fire. Look at all the ascending we have to do. Anything over here? Should we just keep ascending? I mean, I'm gonna go over here either way, of course. Is there anyone to talk to? Or there's a way to keep ascending over here? Hmm. What's going on? Safe point, huh? Okay, I must have. Uh... Okay, I must have been supposed to go the other way to talk to the Droog who will give me the quest, and then, then I go up this way. Got it, got it, got it. So I just uh, took a wrong turn, so I go up this. So I was supposed to go up this way first. Well, then we've neutralized the Droog, and we talk to their. Uh, the leader here, Nonataya. What you got to say for us, Nonataya? Peace. We are victims all of these horrid sec. It journey fast, Kingdom Child. The sec dungeon siege may soon be underway. I I lost the dialogue. Um. Peace. Okay, there we go. We are victims all of these horrid sec. In centuries past, the Sek hunted us near to extinction. When first they reappeared, our generation of warriors was yet newly hatched. Unequal to the ancient sorceries, the Sek threatened to unleash. For our survival, we made an unwise alliance. Hey, title of the chapter. We would redeem ourselves. The Sek plot to seize a secret chamber they believe to be within Castle Ebb. You must move soon should you wish to prevent this. As a symbol of our intentions, I offer an exchange of goods. The best.
best wares we have to offer. Okay, so yes, he's the storekeeper. Do you require additional supplies? Yes, he said an unwise alliance, which is the title of the uh title of the chapter, and if you caught it, he also said the Sec Dungeon Siege may soon be underway. That's the title of the whole game. Woo! So yeah, the plot thickens, yo. Sell to not a die, oh yeah. Thought that might be worth it. We we be millionaires. 225, 266. Hell yeah. Um 225, 247. How you looking? Nice. Okay. Anything else for selling? Nope. Need all that. Need all that. Okay. Cool. It's 37. 33. Uh, 41. So new. Sounds like a bargain. Yes, it is. Ooh. Much better in Yelora's old armor, and uh, I think Merix is still better than Seeker's old, so that's cool. Ship directs for mana? Oh, that's no good. Well, it looks like shit, but it uh, vastly improves his armor rating. Uh, sorry, Merrick. No more cool warlock hat for you. <laughs> Any good helmets for our guys here? No? We're that bad at helmeting, are we? Guess so. Blood leather gauntlets, huh? That's nine. Where that? Okay, so boiled leather gauntlets have the same stats as brigandine gloves. Exactly. All right. Okay, he's got the magic ones that are much better. Could you, could you lure use brigandine boots? They have a total of 11 armor. These 10. Okay, so no. Kite shield. Here's some large kite shields with some magic. Vast improvement. Yes, he is. Okay, and yeah, he will keep. Uh, yeah, he will keep going until he gets this one. That's 
So for shields, how's about weapons? Is this all two-handed stuff that we don't use? No two-handed weapons, not worth it. Horned mags, eh? Nope. Nope. Nope, no good weapons to speak of. Some snazzy spell books, but uh, potions, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> what is this? I don't think so. Okay, I think we're set. Journey fast, Kingdom Child. The Sec Dungeon Siege may soon be underway. Dungeon Siege. That's interesting because you know you think of that you think of that title, and it doesn't make much sense. But as it turns out, the Sec are besieging. Castle Ebb from within its dungeon, right? So it is, in fact, a dungeon siege from below. I don't know if that's really a siege, but... Uh... The surrender of the Droog meant the safety of the kingdom had been secured. But a warning had to be delivered to the throne before the Revenant Sec could succeed in their mysterious plot. That was a little melodramatic there, narrator. <laughs> Chapter 7, King and Castle, alright. Alright, let's, let's, let's get started. Topus and Stuff Productions is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon, including Knight Sadie Allen.